All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know it's your boy, love one to hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Your boy, Javante Davis, is going to lose to Ryan Garcia, claims trainer Joel Diaz. Now, this prediction right here is pretty interesting to me, and I'm going to let you guys listen to it in a minute. Because one thing about Joel Diaz, I'm not going to say he gets all his predictions right. But when it comes down to the main fights, he's pretty spot on. He picked Tyson Fury to beat Deontay Wilder. Not in the third fight when everybody basically picked him. I'm talking about the second fight when Fury was an underdog or it was the real 50-50. But yeah, the man picked David Benavidez to beat Caleb Plant. He picked Dimitri Bivol to beat Canelo. So you see where I'm getting at here? Not saying Javante Davis is going to lose. Well, I'm not saying that I feel that way. But I'm going to let you guys listen to these words from Joel Diaz himself breaking down the fight. Then I'm going to come back and talk my shit. I mean, beat, uh, I mean he beat uh, Alios de Cruz, a 118 pounder, 122 pounder. And then he beat uh, Mario Barrios, who was dehydrated. When he fought, when he fought by my boy Batir, he said that was his last fight at 140. I guess he got a good paycheck and he said, okay, I'll make 140 again. So I know that he was dehydrated for the fight. He didn't do nothing with Pitbull, right? I mean, he made, you know, whatever, he hurt his hand or not. I mean, he's tough. He is a good fighter, but I don't think that uh, for that division, he's he's uh, what he thinks he is. I think Ryan's height, reach, you know, everything's gonna be the difference. And you know what? Like I told Robert, I think because, because Ryan is really cautious, he wins because of that. He like, be careful with a fighter that is really cautious, you know? Because if, if you're a brave fighter, you're gonna go get him, you're gonna get in trouble. But if you're cautious, you know, you, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna get reckless, it makes a big difference. And I think that Ryan is gonna be really cautious, picking his shots, you know, trying to keep him at distance. His speed is a big difference as well, you know? I know Tank also has speed, but you know, his reach and his height, it's big difference. I mean, I got my money on, 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 on Ryan. Now y'all heard the man. You heard what he said. Now, what makes this so interesting to me is, like I said earlier on in the video, Joel Diaz, check his history. When it comes down to mega fights, I'm not going to say he's undefeated or no shit like that, but the man be spot on. Now, being that this fight is less than two weeks away, matter of fact, it's like one week away, it makes it interesting. Because I want to see, is he going to pull off another magnificent prediction? Because if Ryan Garcia beat Tank and you pick Ryan to beat Tank, that's a good prediction because Ryan Garcia is the underdog. So I cannot wait to see this fight. You guys know I'm leaning towards Tank. But that boy Ryan Garcia is cooking with grease over there. So I'm not going to underestimate that and look past that. Furthermore, what do you guys think? Leave in the comment section because I want to know your thoughts. Do you feel like unbiasedly that Joel Diaz is onto something? All right, y'all. I am out.